Susan Stilly and today I am here with my favourite books of 2016. of a decent sized pile of books here. I just went onto my Goodreads and picked out the books that I really enjoyed and um, it turns out I enjoyed a lot of books this year. I will try not to talk about these books for too long. I don't want this video to go on for quite a while. So yes, I will get straight into it and show you guys my favourite books. I recommend you guys to read all of these and I hope that if you have read them or you plan to that you enjoy them or enjoyed them. These are in no particular order because I don't think I could go through the pain of having to number what order I like these books in. First up we have Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. I love this book. It is a wonderful graphic novel where basically it starts out and you are following the story of the evil guys but in reality you love them and they have cinnamon rolls and it is actually quite a heartbreaking and emotionally tolling story but it is fantastic all the same and read it. I also read two poetry books for the first time ever in my entire life and I've probably talked about them enough for you guys to know what they are and that is Milk and Honey by Rupi Kaur and also The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace and these books are so extraordinary they give you so much emotion um, throughout its pages and I don't know I just felt so moved by them and I love them so much. This next book pretty much changed my life and perspective and it really moved me in a really great way and that is The Sidekicks by Walker Starkis so this book is about three friends it goes from three different perspectives and they all shared the same best friend but when that one best friend ends up passing away it follows the story of how they are coping with that and how they are dealing and it's just yeah it's super emotional I recommend tissues and prepare to have your heart broken plus Wilka Starks it's pretty damn amazing so this was the first book that I read in 2016. It is a huge brick of a book and it is also one of my all-time favourite books and part of my all-time favourite series and that is Winter by Marissa Meyer. This is the fourth and final book in the Lunar Chronicles series and oh, I just loved everything about it. All these pages were perfection and the characters and the story and if you guys haven't read the Lunar Chronicles, if you guys like dystopia sci-fi fantasy, I'm pretty sure it's mostly sci-fi, then I definitely recommend it to you guys. It has such an amazing, diverse cast of characters and the dialogue is fantastic and the world building and basically everything. Where by Meg Caddy. This one is a wonderful standalone book. It is a fantasy, it is about werewolves and it is just action packed and amazing and the world building in this is just fantastic and the writing oh, amazing. It features around two main characters. You have Lowell and you also have Lycaea. Lowell is pretty much this peaceful werewolf living in the hills with his family enjoying everything when Lycaea rocks up onto this riverbank pretty much passed out, injured and unable to look after herself and Lowell being the sweetheart he is helps her um, and his family helps as well but it causes a lot of danger to happen and then ensues his action-packed book of just <sighs> This next one is also an enter a trilogy. I love this trilogy. The first book is okay, but the other two books are just freaking fantastic. That book is King's Rising by C.S. Packard. The first one you've got is Captive Prince, and then you also have Princess Gambit. And honestly, these are fantastic. This is just regular fantasy. It's not a YA genre. The first book does have a lot of triggers in it, although it is so freaking good. Like, I loved it. Like I said, the first book I was not convinced on. My friend convinced me to read Princess Gambit, and then I was hooked. I couldn't put it down and if this was more than a trilogy I would be like literally the happiest person in the entire world. Next up we have Akane and Raelia by Lynette Noni. These books are so fun and these books were so much fun and enjoyable and such a quick read but also like really well written and you get so invested in the characters and it was just so good. I just love them so much and I'm very excited for Dracora which is the next book to come out and it has a very gorgeous cover and yeah if you guys want to see the cover reveal for that I'll leave a link to Books K video. She's the one that got to do the cover reveal and yeah you guys can see it in it's all of its gorgeous glory. Not many of these are contemporaries and I think that this is actually the last contemporary book on my list but it is probably one of the happiest reads I have read this year and that is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. and I love Doug so of course I really wanted this book and then when I read it I was completely blown away by it. I loved everything about it. So you follow Andy who has her entire life planned out, she knows what colour she's going to, she knows every single thing that she is going to do and all of a sudden something bad happens and her entire future is affected. She can no longer go to the college she wants, she now has no job, she's doing nothing for summer at all. All, and so she ends up taking a dog walking job and hangs out with her friends most of the time but she also happens to meet the wonderful and darling Clark and sparks happen and storyline ensues. It's pretty hard for me to actually say this because I know it'll change around so do not hold me to my words but these next like three slash four books are probably my favorite this year. 
We have A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. This is the second book in the A Court of Thorn and Roses series. I say this every time, I did not like A Court of Thorn and Roses. I loved A Court of Mist and Fury. I think my life is actually just this book and I'm very excited for the last one. So if you guys like fantasy, jump on this. It is probably my favourite Sarah J Maas book that she has ever written and it is fantastic. The side characters are just everything that I want in life. This next book is the final book in the duology by Leigh Bardugo and that is Crooked Kingdom and guys, if you have not read A Six of Crows, you need to. I know this book is super hyped, but it deserves all the hype. So please, if you're going to do me one favor, read it. Read it, read it, read it. You won't regret it. You'll love it. And if you guys are lucky, you'll get the red stained pages and the black stained pages of the first book. Amazing. Read it now. And lastly, for the last two favorite books that I have read this year, which I can't believe it was this year that I read them both, it seems really weird because I felt like this series has been in my life for a very long time, especially considering how much I care about it. And that is Illuminate and Gemini by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. And if you guys like sci-fi, if you guys like action, if you guys like gore and a little bit of horror, if you guys like suspense, if you guys like different writing styles and just beautiful books in general you guys need to read these they are actually amazing i did my review for gemini which i'll leave a link to and basically you guys just read them love them talk about them with me and just make them part of your 2017 reading list because they are fantastic and although they look huge they aren't like you read through them pretty quickly and you'll love them. So there you guys have my favourite books of 2016. I will be doing another video alongside this with my worst books of 2016. I can guarantee now though that that list won't be as big because there were so many amazing books in comparison to ones that I didn't like as much. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon and I hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas and that you're all excited for New Year. Thank you guys for watching and I hope that you guys have a lovely bookish day and that great things happen to you. Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here with a book review video on Three Dark Crowns by Kendra Blake. Kendra Blake also wrote The Unknown Addressed in Blood. 